We've all heard it. I came home, I took off my coat and hung it up, or some variation on that theme. How do we correct those sorts of grammatical errors? For most of us, the only technique we know is to just repeatedly correct the child over and over. Every time they make a mistake, we just give a correction. We state the correct way to say it and the child repeats what we say. But it doesn't seem to stick, does it? Even consistent corrections don't seem to have much effect. But a few years ago, I stumbled across a fast, effective, and even painless way to overcome these common grammatical errors. But let me tell you about Ethan. Ethan was in third grade and was behind in reading. And so I was having him do a fluency exercise where he listened to the same recording over and over and over. And after he did that for about six weeks, his fluency had improved. But what I noticed more than that was that he no longer made common grammatical errors that he used to make. And I was like, what the heck? How did that happen? And I realized it was the high frequency listening that he had been doing. Ethan obviously had some sort of an auditory discrimination or processing issue. I don't believe it had been diagnosed. From that, I learned that high frequency listening was a quick, effective way to overcome grammatical errors, especially in children who had auditory weaknesses. With this method, the child does not need to follow along in a text, but they do need to listen to the same selection over and over and over. It probably should be something a little advanced, something they couldn't read for themselves, but something that they would be very interested in and that they would be willing to listen to for six weeks straight. So about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes of the same recording each day, five to six days a week is what we recommend. And just have them listen with their headphones on and they need to have the headphones so that they're getting that very intense uh, auditory input. Okay, and that's all there is to it. And I've had several students overcome their grammatical errors painlessly through doing this exercise. If it doesn't happen within six weeks, try it again for another six weeks, maybe with a new recording. The recording should be something that is of high interest, but also well-read and something that is well-written so that they are getting proper grammatical structures. We don't want them to be listening to something that has grammatical errors or a lot of slang in it. We want them to be hearing something that we would like them to imitate. But that's just the main thing. So yeah, I hope that tip helps somebody here to help overcome grammatical errors painlessly.